Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the continuation video on Amazon AWS IoT Core. Earlier, I explained about getting started with AWS IoT Core using ESP32 and also ESP8266. This is the advanced version of the previous video. Now, in this video, what we are going to learn is we'll control a relay, LED, or a lamp using AWS IoT Core with the help of ESP32 Wi Fi module. With the help of this tutorial, you can control any appliances like lamp or LED or any relay from AWS IoT dashboard using ESP32 Wi-Fi module. The tutorial comprises multiple sections. The first one is setting up ESP32 hardware, then signing up and setting the Amazon Web Services, installing necessary libraries to Arduino ID and writing an Arduino sketch for the project. Then creating a thing in AWS, then creating a policy and attaching it to the thing. Then generating certificates, then modifying Arduino sketch according to the thing data and credentials. And then finally, you can publish the data from AWS dashboard and turn on the LED or turn off the LED by sending 0 or 1 command. So this tutorial is going to be very very interesting. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com, then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. Now let us see the hardware requirement and setup for this project. The first thing that we need is ESP32 Wi-Fi module. I am using ESP32 room chip. You can use Rubot or any other chip. Now we also need a 5mm LED and then a 560 ohm resistor. If you want to control any AC appliances and then you need a 5 volt relay module and a BC547 transistor and a 1K resistor. So here is the connection diagram for this project part. I have connected the output of the LED to GPIO23 via 560 ohm resistor. In order to control AC appliances, you can set up the relay along with the BC547 transistor through this circuit diagram. So here is the uh, breadboard connection that I did for this demo application. I have connected an LED to the GPIO23 via 560 ohm resistor. Now let us set up the AWS management console. So for that go to the AWS management console and then here search for IoT code. Click on IoT code. Now on the left side you will get so many options. Out of all these two options we just need only two. So to get all of these options just click on all device. Here you will get an option called things and if you click on security there is an option called policy. We just need things and policy. So first we need to create a things. To do that click on things and here click on create things. Click on create single thing then next give a name to the thing. For example I will be naming it as ESP32 underscore LED and the device shadow select no shadow and then click on next. Here you need to generate certificate. In my case I will be generating auto generate a new certificate. Then click on next. Now no policies are created here. To create a policy, click on create policy. Now, instead of directly creating a policy from here, you can also uh, create a policy from this option on the left side of the AWS dashboard. Now, let us give a name to the policy. For example, I'll be naming it as ESP32 underscore policy. In the policy document part, we need to allow. Now, click here on policy action. So, first we need to select connect as well connecting. Then click then give here a strict sign. This will enable everything. Add new statement and in the choose an action, click on receive as we will be receiving the data. In the policy resource, again type S3. Again add a new statement and this time select subscribe. And in the policy resource, again give S3. This S3 will allow everything. Now click on create. So a policy called ESP32 underscore policy has been created successfully. 
Now go to the previous tab. In here a policy will appear. Just select this policy and then click on create things. Here a lot of certificates are generated. Out of all this, we will be needing three certificates. The first one is the device certificate, private key and Amazon root CA certificate. Download the device certificate first and then rename it as device certificate for identification. In the key part, download public key, rename it as public key. Again download private key, again rename it as private key. In the root CA certificate, we just need Amazon root CA1, so just download one. So here you can see a certificate called Amazon root CA1 is downloaded. We will need these certificates. In this section, just click on done. So a thing has been created. Now, we just need to post data from this thing so that an LED can be controlled. Now, for this, let's go to the coding part. Now, here is the code. So, we have a file called secrets.h. I'll be explaining it later. And here, we'll be needing a lot of library. All of them are inbuilt, but this popsup client and this Arduino JSON are not inbuilt. So, we need to install it externally. For that, go to the library manager and here, search for popsup client library. So here is a library called PopSub Client from Nick O. Larry. Install this library. We also need JSON library. So we have a library called Arduino JSON from Benoit Blachon. Install this as well. So this is the uh, topic that we are going to subscribe. And I have named it as ESP32 slash sub. I have connected the lamp to GPIO23 which is defined here. These lines are for connecting to the Wi-Fi network and also uh, for con establishing connection with AWS dashboard using these certificates. Now in the message handler section, oh, we were using the JSON format to encode the payload. Now if the data send is uh, 1, the LED will turn on. If it is send is 0, the LED should turn off. So we are extracting the message using the payload formatter. Uh, for controlling the LED. The sky value for uh, 1 is 49 and the sky value for 0 is 48. In the setup section, uh, you have few commands. In the loop section, there is continuous loop. In the secrets.h, we need a lot of modification. The first one is things name. So from where we get this? So go to the AWS dashboard and just copy the name of the thing that you created. Here you need to enter the SSID of the Wi-Fi you want to connect to your ESP32. Enter the password here. Now the important thing is the AWS IoT endpoint. So from where would we get that? So for that, go to the AWS dashboard, then click on settings, and uh, here you will see the device data endpoint. Just click on this copy sign and then paste it on the code. Now all these are modified. Now we need to modify the CA1 certificate. Now go to this downloaded certificate, open this with Notepad++, copy this certificate, go back to your Arduino ID, paste it between begin certificate to end certificate. We need to do the same thing with the device certificate. Open the device certificate with Notepad++, copy this certificate and paste it between begin certificate and end certificate. In the private key part, we need to do the same thing. Open this with Notepad++, Copy this and paste it between begin RSA private key and in RSA private key. So these are the modifications that we need. So I think all the modifications are done. Now what we need to do is we need to upload this code. Now go to tools and select the ESP32 developer module. Select the COM code and click on upload button to upload the code. So finally the code is uploaded. Now open the serial monitor. It will show connecting to AWS IoT and once it is connected, it will show AWS IoT connected. So the connection is established. Now to see the data, now we need to publish the data from this thing that we created that is ESP32 underscore LED. To test it, click on MQTT test client. From here, we need to publish to a topic. We need to give the same name that we assigned in the code that is ESP32 slash sub and in the message payload paste this command that is hello from AWS IoT console LED control dot one now we need to publish it from here so for the demo application I'll be showing you it on multiple screen 
So when you click on publish, uh, LED will turn on and the same message will be sent to the serial monitor. Now when you click on zero and click on publish, the LED will turn off and the same thing would be shown on serial monitor again. So continuously sending one will turn on the LED and sending zero will turn off the LED. So instead of LED, you can control any other thing like uh, relay or any AC appliances or whatever you want to control. So this is very easy. The complete part of this project has been explained and well written in the How to Electronics website article. You can visit the link in the description and find all the codes, schematics and the written setup part. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel as we will be making so many videos based on this topic. Thank you so much for watching.